morning, good morning. Welcome, welcome family. We have missed you guys. Certainly missed you, but we are so, so grateful that we are all here on this morning. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I am so excited. Amen. I know you guys have some great testimonies and some things to share um, with us and with your brothers and your sisters. And uh, we are elated, elated, elated about the goodness of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. We are ending this year strong. Amen. God still has some great things in store for us. He's not finished. Amen. He's not finished what he started. Amen. He's certainly able to complete. We know that better is the end of a thing than the beginning thereof. And uh, so we are excited about the ending. We are excited about the new. We are excited about um, answered prayers. So come on, come on, each and every one of you. And certainly invite your followers, invite your friends. Please share on, on your media outlets. Please share. And again, thank you so very much for being a part of our lives and allowing us to be a part of your lives, for bringing us into your home and wherever you are. And uh, we, we are certainly um, grateful to have you a part of our lives. And, you know, some of you we've met as we've traveled um, around the world. Um, and so we're grateful, so, so grateful um, to be here on this morning. Yes, we are <laughs> so grateful. You know, for a couple of days, um, my wonderful wife was having some sinus challenges, and so I uh, want to give her time to rest. Doesn't she look beautiful? She looks so, so good tonight. But she always looks good to me, but I mean, I'm just saying she looks rested. She looks uh, like she's feeling well. You know, I got stirred earlier on the, uh, on the broadcast with... Uh, Apostle Anita Scott from uh, Arizona, mm -hmm. one of our covenant sisters, and uh, really love her a lot. She has an amazing, amazing ministry and her husband out there. And uh, so, you know, I kind of got stirred, and I said, man, uh, I had this thought as we were we were talking about it, and actually we got it a little earlier. And so uh, I want to pray about that. Thank you for inviting your friends. Please, if you haven't shared, share. Share, share, share. Thank you. We missed you guys too. We uh, we are excited about what God is doing in your life. Uh, I am. Let me, let me make this quick uh, announcement. I'm wearing my brother's shirt. This is uh, uh the book by John Veal. He just, uh, of course, released his book, Supernaturally Prophetic: A Guide for Prophets and Prophetic People. So if you don't have this book, go to his website. Make sure you get that book. And, uh, you know, www.supernaturallyprophetic.com. Again, www.supernaturallyprophetic.com. You want to get that book. This, this shirt says, I am supernaturally prophetic. <laughs> and uh, one of the things that I'm very keen on is the fact that we have to support each other in ministry. We, we are not an island to ourselves. Right. And so we have to share with each other. We have to bless other people. Uh, right. If God gives you a platform and an ability to, 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 to have any kind of say-so in things, you need to bless other people. Amen? Absolutely. So for those Absolutely. who just came on, make sure you go and check out that book. Uh, let me say thank you. I want to say thank you very quickly uh, to all of you who uh, have gone and registered to be one of the intercessors on my wife's uh, team of the Bold and Fearless Intercession. She has reached 350 of the 1,000 intercessors. I think you're probably more than that. You're probably about 450 now, uh, yes. almost 500. But that was the last count that we had was 350. So if you know somebody who's an intercessor, please send them to our website so that they can check that out and uh, get connected. That's every Monday morning at 5 a.m. and every Friday morning at 5 a.m. Yes. And, uh, and so that's amazing. We're still going to be doing the midnight cries and the noonday scopes. But I'm really excited about that. Uh, today, we had the opportunity to do our Leadership 103, the second part of it. It was really, really good for those that were there. It was amazing. And uh, finally, of course, we have the next one coming up, which is Leadership 200, Building Effective Teams. That's coming up. Let me give you two other quick announcements. Uh, Arise 2018 is going to be January 25th through the 27th in Birmingham, uh, in Huntsville, Alabama. You want to register for that. And for that, you want to go to uh, Trailblazers, I-N-T-L, to be able to register. And then, of course, uh, I always love our um, 
meetings, of course, with the Impact Network with our Apostle, Apostle John Eckhart. So make sure you go to ASAP Worship Conference and register for that as well. So that's going to be an amazing meeting. That's going to be at Majestic Life Church. If you want to register for it, register, go to uh, johneckhart.global. Well, let me give you some scripture. Thank you for sharing. Again, thank you, thank you, thank you. You guys are amazing. Let me give you some scripture. The, the quote that I put up tonight was, expect expedited delivery of your order. Now, uh, because we have uh, my wife, now let me tell you how this works. My wife loves Amazon. Yes. And so oftentimes there is a door, the doorbell rings in the morning. And so the doorbell rings because somebody is bringing a package. And so what I found out was is that when you go into, um, when you go into your, your order status, you can ask for a one-day delivery or a same-day delivery. You can ask for an expedited Jeez. delivery. Yes. And so God is saying to us tonight that when we go into the Holy of Holies in the throne room, we can request an expedited delivery. Thank Amen. God. Let me give you scripture for this because I know there are some people on who, who <laughs> want scripture. And then we're going to pray. So make sure you're sharing. Make sure, make sure that, yes, yeah, somebody says, so come through with some same-day delivery. Amen. Come on now. And so uh, here's a couple of scriptures in Psalms. But you, O Lord, do not be far off. O you, my help, come quickly to my aid. That's Psalm 22 and 10. Make haste to help me, O Lord, my salvation. Psalm 38 and 22. Let me give you another one in Psalm 40 and 13. And I'm going to go back through these in a moment. Be pleased, O Lord, to deliver me. O Lord, make haste to help me. Again, that's Psalm 40 and 13. David found himself frequently asking God to bring expedited delivery. And yes. so you too, when you cry out to God, when your heart is knit with God, the Bible says that if we delight ourselves in him, he will give us the desires of our heart. In John, the Bible said, Jesus makes this, he said it's the, it's, the, it's the Father's good pleasure to give us the kingdom. And so God wants to answer your prayer just as much as you want your prayer answered. Oh Here's another scripture. You are my help and my deliverer. Do not delay, O oh my God. Psalms 40 and 17. He says, make haste, O God, make to haste. deliver me, O Lord. Make haste to help me, Psalms 70 and 1. He says, but I am poor and needy. Hasten to me, O God. You are my help and my deliverer, O Lord. Do not delay. That's Psalms 70 and 5. O God, be not far from me, O God. Make haste to help me, Psalm 71 and 12. O Lord, I call upon you. Hasten to help me. Give ear to my voice when I call to you, Psalm 140. 41 and 1. Amen. So this, 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 this for me says that God has an ability to be able to expedite our prayers. Amen. The things that we're praying for, the things that we're believing for, he has the ability to expedite. So in Psalm 31 and 15, God, David says, he said, my times are in your hand. Mm. So that literally means that God, you can change and expedite and accelerate Jesus. and you can move as fast as you want to because Amen. you are God and because because there is no, let me tell you some. your prayers can move at the speed of light. Come on, your, your prayers can, can actually beat the speed of light. And so God says, I'm accelerating your prayers. I'm accelerating the things that you've requested. If you've got enough confidence in Amazon to be able to deliver in the same day, if you've got enough belief in Amazon to do an expedited delivery for you, then I want you to believe me tonight for expedited delivery for the things that you've been desiring and the things that you've been praying for to me for. I believe that this is a time, if none other, that God is expediting some things. Let me tell you yes. something. I remember telling you guys the story. It was October of 2008 and uh, they had told me uh, this prophet had prophesied. He said, you're not going to live in this city much longer. You're getting ready to, it's, God is getting ready to expedite your request. Two months later I was expedited. I, I came to Florida in that December, December 13th. By February the 11th I was, I was literally moving to Florida. So God is literally going to shift you and he's going to expedite your order. He's going to expedite Jesus. your request. He's going to expedite your prayer. Yes. He's going to expedite your deliverance. He's going to expedite your healing. Yes. He's going to expedite yes. your relationship yes. problems. He's going to expedite the things that you've been asking him for, the things that you've been crying out to him for. Yes. Even as David said, he said, oh Lord, don't be far off from me. Help me and come quickly to my aid. He said, hasten to my help, oh Lord, my salvation. According to Psalm 38 and 
and 22. And we're going to pray these five or six songs because I believe when we pray the word of God, that God hears his word yes. and he cannot deny his word. His word cannot, shall not, has not, and will not return void. His old word also says that he's not a man that he should lie, that if, he, uh, that, that if we say it, shall he not do it? If he spoke it, shall he not make it good? Now again, he is not a man that he should lie. And so if God promised you something, if you've made a, an order into the, and if, let me tell you something, if you can trust Amazon, how much more can you trust God? If you can trust the United States Postal Service, if you can trust the, the UPS, if you can trust these things, you can trust God because yes. God is more faithful to deliver than any of them. God. And so we stand in the gap of intercession tonight. We believe God for amazing things tonight, amazing results. Let me tell you something. This There's only 20-something days left in this year, but God is still a God who can answer you and move on yes. your behalf. There are some precious promises that you have. There are some suddenlies that you've been waiting on. Let me tell you something. I sat in a meeting today, and let me tell you something. Some of the things that I had been praying for God to do, some of the visions that God had given me many years ago, God is starting to manifest them. And so I'm telling you that it is your season for manifested destiny. It's your season for manifested suddenly. It's your season. This is the time in your life where God is going to begin to manifest the things that you've been crying out to him for. Even as David said in Psalm again, Psalm 22 and 10. We're going to pray in just a moment. But I want you to begin to put your prayer petitions on the screen. Put on the screen the things that, that you've been crying out to God for because I believe yes. that the God that we serve is able even as his word says to do exceeding abundantly above all that we can ask or think according to the power that is working in us and I'm telling you in me is that power called dunamis that power which is authority it's a power that we have the ability the mighty working ability of God that is working in us and has the ability to bring great results and, and I'm telling you tonight you've got to believe it you've got to stand on it you've got to trust God for it you've got to know that the God that you serve is a faithful God. Yes. He will not fail you. He will not let you down. If he promises it to you, it's going to come to pass. You can take it to the bank. My Just God. like you order from Amazon and you expect <laughs> expedited delivery, you can expect expedited delivery tonight in the name of, the Jesus. Name of Jesus. Come on, let's pray these My scriptures. God. Psalm 22 and 19. David began to say, but you, O oh Lord, do not be afar off, and, oh, and you my help. Come quickly to my aid. Make haste to help me, O oh Lord. God, even tonight, begin to make haste to help these, your people, Lord. Yes. You're our salvation. God, be pleased, our Lord, to deliver us, O oh God. Make haste to us, O oh God, to help us, O oh God. God, you are our help, and you are our deliverer. Do not delay in helping us, God. Do not delay in fixing our situation. Do yes. not delay, God, in coming to us. Do not delay, O oh God, in answering our prayers. God, do not delay in, in, in answering the petitions that we have before your throne. Father, we thank you tonight, God, that you're making haste to deliver us, oh God. We thank you, Lord God, that you're making haste to deliver us even now according to Psalm 70 and 1, according to Psalm 40 and 17, according to Psalm 40 and 13, according to Psalms 22 and 19, according to Psalms 38 and 22. Father, if you did it for David, if you did it for others, if you did it for Peter and you delivered him supernaturally from a prison, Father, if you came on the day of Pentecost and God manifested your glory. Father, if you did it for Solomon as he dedicated, oh God, the temple unto you. Father, even tonight as we dedicate our temples unto you, as we consecrate ourselves unto you afresh, and as our prayers come before you, God, your nostrils in us a sweet-smelling savor into the heavenly realm. Oh God, we pray tonight that you would begin to answer us, God, that you would begin to hear our cry, that you would begin, even as David said, Father, for we are poor and needy, oh God, and oh Oh God, in you, and God, we want you to hasten to us, oh God. Help us be our deliver, God. Do not delay. God, you're not far from us, God. Your word declares that you're close to us. You're, you, you're an imminent God. You're a God who is able, God, to answer quickly. And so, Father, we thank you, Lord God, that you're making haste to help us even now. Father, we call upon you. God, we pray that you would hasten unto us. God, give ear unto our voice when we call upon you. For God, we declare that your, our times are in your hand, even according to Psalm 31 and 15. Father, we declare, God, that our times are in your hand. And even as the word declared, oh God, that even as the, 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 heart of the, uh, the, the, the heart of the king is in the hand of the Lord, like the rivers of water, and you turn them with us so ever you want to. And so, Father, we thank you that you're answering us quickly. Father, that there is no petition, there is no request, there is nothing, God, that we can cry out to you for tonight, God, that you're not answering, and you're not answering us quickly. Father, we thank you that every petition for every person that's upon this periscope, that's upon this Facebook live, 
God that will watch this YouTube video later. Father, even now, we thank you for an anointing God that breaks yokes and destroys bondages, that lifts burdens, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Everybody that came on tonight that was crying out to you for you to do something amazing for them. God, our declaration tonight is that the anointing that's on our corporate lives, Father, when we all come together, even as they did on the day of Pentecost, God, that there's a glory on us, that there's an anointing on us, that there's a power on us. God, that when we pray that the power of God, that your power manifests through us. And God, every petition, every request, everything that we've been desiring of you, everything we've been waiting on you to manifest, God, is coming to pass now in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you, God, that we can cry out to you and you'll hear us, God. And not only will you hear us, but God, you'll answer us. And Father, we, we declare your word which says that we're blessed in the city and blessed in the field, yes. blessed in our coming and blessed in our going. Father, everywhere the soul of our foot tread will possess the land and everything our hands touch will prosper. Even the thoughts of our minds are being established in the earth. Father, we thank you for your glory. We thank you, Lord God, that you're moving by your power and by your spirit. God, we thank you, Lord God, that you're reconciling men unto you. Father, that souls are being saved. God, that prayers are being answered. That lives are being changed. That bodies are being healed. That people are being delivered. Father, we thank you, Lord God, that every prophetic promise that you've given us, God, is coming to pass because we are supernaturally prophetic. And Father, that's our declaration. Father, we declare that we'll see you moving in everything that pertains to us. God, we'll see you moving in everything that's around us. Father, we'll see your glory. We'll see your power. We'll see your strength. Father, we'll see your anointing. Oh God, we'll see your presence around us and in us and in everything that pertains to us. Father, we bless you tonight. And that's our declaration. God, that your hand is upon us like never before. Father, let your glory be in this place, even as it was in that temple when when Solomon dedicated. Father, let your glory, God, be in this place so much so, God, that those that are even watching would feel your presence in the places where they are. Father, let your glory, let your anointing, let your strength, let your wisdom, God, let your understanding, God, let it be upon us even tonight. And Father, let our hearts be turned to you like never before. And God, even as we delight ourselves in you, let the petitions that we've cried out to you for, Father, let them be answered in the name of Jesus. Yes, family registry of uh, reconciliation, let bloodline healings and deliverance happen. Father, we thank you that every prayer, every petition, everything that your people are crying out to you for, God, that it is coming upon us now. And God, it's not only coming, but it is being expedited in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you, yes, oh God. God, that every petition, Jesus. everything that your people are crying out, even those that are crying out for re revival, oh God, in the name of Jesus, God, everything that they're asking you for, every petition that's being written, court orders, God, husbands coming, God, we pray now in the name of Jesus. Jesus, God, even for every petition, everything that your people are asking for, yes, deliverance and revival. Oh, God, we thank you, Lord God, for supernatural wisdom. God, deliverance from addictions, yes, break them in the name of Jesus, God. Break them irreversibly. Father, break them so much so that the enemy is never able to afflict them in that area ever again. Father, we judge every principality and every ruler of wickedness, God, in high places that have come to afflict us, Father. We declare now that those enemies of our soul have been judged by the power of a holy God, the power and the authority that you've given us. Your word declares the death and life and the power of our tongue. And God, we speak death to principalities, death to rulers of wickedness in high places, God. And we speak life to your people, life and life more abundantly. So that's why you came. And so, Father, we thank you, God, that even now you're releasing life and life more abundantly for your people, God. Release your glory. Release your power. God, when the glory comes, then comes deliverance. When your glory comes, then comes the healing, God. When your glory comes, then comes your peace, God. When your glory comes, then comes your joy. God, when your glory comes, then comes reconciliation. Father, when your glory comes, oh God, then comes empowerment. You're giving us witty inventions and creative ideas. Father, we're going to our next level. God, everything that belongs to us in the earth is coming to us and is coming to us expeditedly. Father, in the name of Jesus, God, everything that's been held up is being released unto your people now in the name of Jesus. Father, let your glory flow in this place like never before. Father, we're glory carriers. We're carriers of your glory. We're carriers of your power. We're carriers of your authority. Carriers of your anointing. Carriers of your strength. Carriers of your wisdom. Carriers of your presence. And so, Father, we thank you, God, that when we pray, we get results and we get them in an expedited manner. Father, we bless you and we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen.
Glory to your name, Father. Just, Father, we just thank you this morning for who you are. We thank you for this opportunity, God, to come unto you, to cry out unto you. God, even as the woman with the issue of blood, God, we're pursuing after you. We know if we can get in your presence, if we can touch you, Father God, that every issue of our life will dry up immediately, straightway, without notice, abruptly, in quick, fast, and in a hurry. So even now, God, we thank you that all of our issues are drying up in Jesus' name. Every issue, God, that we've carried and every burden, Father God, every yoke is being removed now. Every burden is being destroyed now. In the name of Jesus, glory to God. Deliverance is manifesting now. Depression has to go now in Jesus' name. Oh, God, infirmity has to go now in Jesus' name. Every attack of the enemy has to cease now in Jesus' name. We declare it is of no effect. It is null and void because, God, your people have cried out unto you. God, even as they're petitioning unto you even now, glory to God on this broadcast as they're writing in their prayers, God, because the woman with the issue of blood, she said within herself, she prayed within herself, my God, hallelujah, glory to your name, glory to your name, and her prayers went before her, glory to God, her prayers, it was a prayer of faith, it was a prayer, it was a cry out, hallelujah, because of, of what she was dealing with for a long time, come on, a long time, some of you been in a situation a long time, you've been battling a long time, my God. But God said, just one moment in my presence. God said, I'm turning some things around in your life right now. Right now, this is your time and your moment and your season. This is the set time that I've already positioned for you. God said, I had you on my calendar. Hallelujah for this day. And it's manifesting. My word is manifesting in your life. God said, I've already sent my word to you and healed you. And it's manifesting now in Jesus name. Hallelujah. No, no weapon formed against you will be able to prosper because God has already a solution for every problem and every issue in the name of Jesus. It's already resolved. It's already done. It's already finished. It's already complete. In the mighty name of Jesus, glory to God. Every principality, every ruler of darkness, hallelujah, that you have contended with, glory to God. God said it's being destroyed right now. God said he's given you power and authority over nations and over kingdoms to tear down, to throw down, to destroy. My God, Hallelujah to overthrow glory to God. And so even, even now, as you begin to lift up your voice, there is power in your voice. As you begin to lift it up in the name of Jesus, as you begin to sound the alarm, my God, hallelujah, let the devil know that his time is up. Hallelujah. That it's a done deal. He's finished. Every attack is done. It's finished now in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Every spirit of worry that has been sent against your mind in the name of Jesus, every spirit spirit of anxiousness. Glory to God has come against you. Every spirit of worry, every spirit of doubt in the name of Jesus, every spirit of depression has to die now in Jesus' name. Glory to your name. Come on. We got to put a date on it. We got to declare it and decree it and we got to put a date on it in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Whatsoever we say on earth, it shall be done in heaven in the name of Jesus. Whatsoever we loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Whatsoever we bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Glory to God. So we bind the hand of the enemy in the name of Jesus. We bind his attacks. We bind his power in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. We bind his weapons in the name of Jesus. And we lose the presence of God. We lose the power of God. We lose the provision of God in our life today in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We're sending the word out to, into nations. We're sending the word. Glory to God that terrorism has to stop now in Jesus name. Glory to God turmoil in the earth has to die now in Jesus name the fires in California have to burn out now yes. in Jesus name come on we got to put a date on it glory to God when you make a prayer and you make a petition unto the Lord you put a date on it you say God this is going to happen by this time hallelujah glory to God we have power and authority we know it's all according to the perfect will of God hallelujah but we got to declare some things we can't we, we have to be specific amen we have to be specific in our prayers so that we can target our prayers. My 
my God, hallelujah, prayer works if you work it, prayer works if you work it, my God, we got to work the word, we got to work the authority that God has given unto us, we got to know who we really are, we got to know our assignment, we got to know our metron, we got to know our influence, come on, in the name of Jesus, so Father, we thank you, we thank you for this moment, we thank you for this moment in time, my God, because your, your, your kairos is intersected with our chronos on this morning, my God, at 12 25 miracles have been released healing has manifested in the name of jesus deliverance has taken place salvation has taken place my god in the name of jesus your family members have received christ as lord and savior your children my god are rising up as warriors glory to god hallelujah that god is going to use in the earth to do amazing things come on your prayers have already gone out my god put a date on it say today is the day today is the day of their salvation Come on. Hey, glory to your name. Today is the day. Hallelujah. Glory to your name. Glory to your name. God is listening for the hearts of the intercessors. Come on, intercessors, arise. Come on and get in position. Come on. Come on. <coughs> get in position. Glory to God. <clears throat> so that you can see the manifestation of, your, of the word of God come to pass in the lives of his people. Come on. We want it done, Father, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. It is manifesting now in Jesus' name. Oh, glory to your name. Glory to your name. There is a joy. There is a joy that's being released now in Jesus' name. Hope is being renewed now in Jesus' name. <coughs> yes, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Now in Jesus' name. Arise, arise. Come forth in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Glory to your name. Today. Glory to your name. Glory to your name. And I just, I, 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 I beginning to see. There is somebody that's been confounded. and you're, you're in a chair, but God has said, you, it's time for you to arise. It's time for you to take up your bed and walk in the name of Jesus. Arise. Hallelujah. Glory to your name. God said he's already arise. sent you the anointed. He's arise. already sent it to you. He's already sent you the answer. He's already sent you the solution in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Arise. Arise. Yes, glory to God. Glory to God. <coughs> it's time to arise. It's time to arise. Come on. The very thing that has kept you down is the very thing that God wants you, hallelujah, to take authority over in Jesus' name. Glory to God over your mind, over your emotion. In the name of Jesus, God said it's time to take it up. It's time to, to rise up above it. Glory to God. you got to know that you've already been seated in heavenly places. Glory to God. You don't look up at your problem. You look down on your problem because you have dominion in the name of Jesus. You have a power and authority over that thing in the name of Jesus. Whatever that thing is, whatever that issue is, now is the time for it to dry up in Jesus' name. Glory to God. Glory to God. Yes. Glory to your name. Yes. 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 Yes, your daughter-in-law will have peace in Jesus' name. Peace, glory to your name. Peace surrounds her. Peace in her spirit, peace in her mind, peace in her emotion in the name of Jesus. Glory to your name. I come against the war that's in your mind. I bind and destroy the war that is that is going on in your spirit in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to your name. I erase and I eradicate old thoughts and old mindsets in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And I release the new, I release a birthing, a, a birthing of the new you. Come on, in the name of Jesus, you're rising up out of that shell. You're rising up out of that place, hallelujah, of confinement. Glory to God. Some of you have been confounded physically, but some of you have been confounded, confined in your mind and in your emotions, hallelujah. You seem like sometimes when you've been stuck in a place in your mind and you can't get past thoughts, you can't get past certain seasons, you can't get Get back certain events that happen in your life, but it's time. Come on, in the name of Jesus, God said, I'm glory to your name, glory to your name. I'm drying up every issue in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. God is drying up every issue, every issue, every issue in the name of Jesus. Whether those issues were in the past or in the or in the present, hallelujah. God said he's drying up every issue in the name of Jesus. Glory to your name. Yes, yes. Glory to your name. Glory to your name. 
Glory to your name. You put in an order, and God said it's coming expeditiously. My God, same day delivery. You put in the order, but God said it's coming the same day. Hallelujah. Yes, glory to God. Expediting your order tonight. Hallelujah. Mm. I'm glory to your name, Jesus. Tonight. Yes, come on. Yes, you're bold. You're fearless in Jesus' name. Yes, yes, every issue is drying up in the name of Jesus because we have pursued him. Glory to God. Like the woman with the issue of blood, she said, I got to get to him. I got to get to Jesus. And many of you said, I got to get on this scope this morning. Glory to your name. Some of you say, God, I need to hear from you. I need an answer from you. I need to see the manifestation of your word in my life. I need a miracle. My God, hallelujah. But I, we're here to let you know that God specializes in miracles. He specializes in what seems to be impossible. When man walks away from you, when the doctors walk away from you, when they say there is no hope for you, there is nothing that they can do, it's beyond their control, that's when God, come on, that's when he manifests himself like never before. He, God is going to bless you in front of the very ones that said there is no hope for you, yeah. in Jesus' name. You know, somebody just put a post up, uh, and this is an area that I'm really strong, I mean, I just have a strong passion. Somebody put a, a request up, and they said, God, just help me to pay my bills. And let me, let me prophesy this to you. God doesn't just want you to be able to pay your bills. God wants you to unlock the, the hidden potential and purpose that's inside of you so that you not only are able to pay your bills, but you're able to help somebody else. God wants you to leave an inheritance for your children's children. And that's not just in the natural. That's not just spiritual things. I mean, that's not just in the spirit realm where you leave a spiritual inheritance, but God wants you to leave a natural inheritance. Yes. So my prayer tonight is that not only do you, that you tap into what's necessary for, to take care of your, your responsibilities now, but that you be like that woman who was a widow woman who had a need and God exceeded her expectations because God says in his word, he's in Ephesians 3.20, God, he is able to do exceeding abundantly above all yes. that you can ask and think according to the power that's working in you. And so I call for your, pr your, your, pr your, your, your prayer to change tonight. You're not just going to ask God for what you can do. You're going to ask God for what he can do. Yes. If you could do, if God, if you, you can get another job to pay you just pay your bills. No, God wants to bless you supernaturally so you tap into a place where you never ever have to live beneath the principles and the privileges that you have as a king's kid. You're a king's kid. You're not a pauper. You don't have to beg. You don't have to plead. No, we should have enough resources to tap into. Let me tell you something. God will bless you. You can bless everybody in your neighborhood. You'll, you'll be able to buy the neighborhood. I believe we serve that kind of God. Yes. And so I'm yes. telling you, I'm praying for God to give you one witty invention, one creative idea that will literally change the entire uh the entire uh, uh you know the, the entire system of your family god yes. has called us to change systems to bind principalities and so we bind that principality of lack and debt and of poverty we break the back of it now in yes. ideas and creativity father let creativity be released even upon this facebook yes. live and this scope tonight that would cause your people god to go to another dimension of wealth another dimension of understanding yes. god of, of what you have really got inside of them. Let me tell you something. There is something inside of you that the world needs. There's an idea. There's one creative solution that you can provide. There is something inside of you that when you tap into it, it will literally change the entire circumference of everything that you've ever known. Your entire family will ever know. You'll be the person who goes back to change everything concerning your family. Are you listening to me? Absolutely. Absolutely. And one of the things that um, I just sense in my spirit that God is saying that uh, when you ask, ask for his best. Mm -hmm. Many times we just say, God, I need, I want this or I need this, but ask God, say, God, I want your best mm -hmm. for me. Some people are believing God for a husband. You say, God, I just want a husband. No, ask God for the best husband for you. Right. Ask God for the best wife for you. In the, ask him for the best job for you, the mm -hmm. best house for you, the best vehicle for you yes. that he desires for you to have. And, and of course we have our desires but, you know, even as my husband just said, we ask God for what we can see. But God wants to give you what he can see mm -hmm. and not just what you can see. Yes. Because so what we, God can see is a whole lot different than yes. what we see. Come on. His vision is a lot is a lot broader. Yes. God, you know, and that can be our, our request. God, show me what you see. 
Yes. God, open my eyes. Open the eyes of yes. my understanding. Even as Paul prayed for the Ephesian church, open yes. the eyes of my understanding that I may know the hope of my calling. And, and it, you know, even when they were on the, the road to Mary, they said, did not hearts burn when I was there? Oh, he opened his eyes. They yes. opened, he said they opened their eyes so they could understand. Even there was a young man that was with the prophet Elijah. He said, open this young man's eyes that he may see what I see. And so God can open, literally open your eyes to the, to the heavenly realm. And so my prayer tonight is that God opens your eyes to see what he sees about you so that you begin to say what he says about you. And I'm telling you, you'll begin to see the manifestation of the promises of God for your life. It was never God's original intent for you to live beneath the covenant principles and privileges yes. that he has for you. Absolutely. Amen. Absolutely. Amen. God wants to give you his best and sometimes we settle for less. Um, than his best because we don't always know and so this is a season where we arise with the best amen god chose you because you're the best and so god wants to give you the best and so when you pray when you ask god for anything say god i want your best i want i want your best i want to give you my best amen as we give god our best and we give him our best praise as we give him our best offering glory to god glory to your name jesus glory to god and sometimes we don't even know what that is but we can ask of god amen we can ask of him and he will show us and he will open up the eyes of our understanding and we will be able to hear him we may not hear him audibly but we can hear him in our spirit oh glory to god glory to your name so even even now begin to offer up god uh, our best praise come on give god your best praise praise. Some of you are going to give God your best offering it. And you're going to say, God, this is for you. This is, this is what's been on my heart to bless you with it. And how do I honor you, God? How do you, how, what's the honor? What's the, what's the honor that you're desiring of me today? Yes. What is it, God, that you're desiring of me? What is my best that I can offer up unto you? You better pray, girl. Yes. My God. And so when we offer God our best, that's what, see, he's not, he, he, you know, obedience is better than a sacrifice. And so many times we say, well, God, you know, I think this is my best or, but, but God, he, he will let us know. And many times, and I've gone to give an offering, God said, no, that's not what it is. That's not mm -hmm. what I want today. I, I want that. You're giving me this, but I want that. I want your best tonight. And so God is saying, <laughs> I want your best because I want to give you my best, yes. you know, and God, you know, God, as we look, as we look at what we're offering God, are we saying, are we saying, God, I can't afford to give it to you right now? Or, or, you know, maybe, maybe not now, or maybe a little bit. I, I just, I can just give you a little bit, God. And so when we say that, I want you to, to, to understand it would, how would we feel if God said, I just want to give you a little bit. Come on. You know, I but God wants to give us, you know, when, when God asks us for something, it's not that he needs it. It's not that he's trying to take something away from us. But when God asks us for something, it, it he, he allows us to see our heart. Yes. And if we're going to be obedient to him and say, you know, God, surely I'll give it to That's you. That's what he did with Abraham. Absolutely. He asked him for his best. Come on, his he best. Asked, he asked him for his best. And when yes. he gave him his best, he expedited the delivery of the order that, that he had. Come on. He Excellent. became Jehovah Jireh. But, yes. But Abraham did not meet God as Jehovah Jireh until the Jehovah Jireh had not been mentioned in the Bible no. until Abraham was ready to sacrifice his very best. Come on. And yes. so tonight, our declaration for yes. you is My that God. you're going to give God Jesus. your best. And Lord even as you've made it up in your heart Jesus. to give Glory. God your best, God says, I'm going to expedite. Glory. He said, even as you delight yes. in your, yourself in me tonight, I'm going to I'm going to expedite the things that you've ordered. I'm going to expedite your petition. I'm going to release unto you everything that you have a desire for. Everything that belongs to you, everything yes. that, that's got your name on it, everything yes. that the earth, but that the earth has has, has consumed, everything that the earth has stolen, everything yes. that somebody in the earth has held up that belongs to you. I'm telling you that this is the season that God is expediting everything that belongs to you. My God. My God, mm. God wants to give you his best. I'm going to give best. you my best tonight. Yes, his best. Hallelujah. 
Well, listen, I, I want to give these five, nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. A couple of weeks ago, I asked for people who wanted to be. Now, some of you know that you're already connected. Uh, but some people said that, number one, they wanted help with business ideas or creativity. And um, and so for those of, that somebody just said they wanted to sew, uh, for those that want to sew, you can always go to our website, www.lejeanandvalora.com. That's also where you can go to be able to sign up to be one of these 350 intercessors and so we're looking to get a thousand uh, intercessors and we're right now at 350 so we're right in here and so we need about 650 more people to sign up but I'm confident we've only been doing this about a week so we believe that within this week this next couple of weeks we're gonna get everybody we need yes. now there were some people that signed up uh, Dion Adams Pinky Davis Michelle Finch uh, Lorna McGowan uh, Patricia Valentine and Vanessa Mosley. I think you guys all said that you wanted to either help to be a part of the suddenly uh, the suddenly team. Those are going to help, and there are some others of you that have been with us the whole time, and we know that you're connected and you're going to stay connected. And so we're we're excited about you as well. And so uh, those of you who are interested, we're going to have a sign up roster that'll come up pretty soon, so that you can connect because we've got I think seven cities between January and April that we'll be coming to. We've already kind of locked in some venues and we'll be announcing those very soon. And then next year we already said that we're gonna do a big suddenly, a huge suddenly, and we've got some amazing announcements to talk about with that as well. So next year is gonna be an amazing year. We're going to some new nations on next year uh, that we have not, that we didn't go to this year. And so we're really, really excited about all that God is doing and all that he's gonna do for your life. Yes. We appreciate you guys. We love you all. Yes. We thank God for you. And we're excited about what God is doing. Again, we are so excited. Amen. Just, um, you know, I'm, I'm just so grateful for God. I'm so grateful for each and every one of you. Um, I know the assignment on your life is great because as your prayer requests come, I know the attack has been great, but God is greater. God is greater, and so he's expediting your delivery Yes. on today. He is expediting your delivery. Amen. Your breakthrough, your healing um, for your family, for your ministry, for your business. Come on, my God, he's shattering some glass ceilings. He's opening some great, great doors right before your eyes. He's performing miracles right in the very presence of your enemies. Amen. In Jesus' name. In I want to give you these name. scriptures again. Some people ask for the scriptures again. So somebody on Periscope, I'm going to say them slowly so you can type them in. And then somebody on Facebook, I want you guys to type them in for me so that people can have them. So um, it's uh, Psalm 22 and 19. Psalm 22 and 19. But you, uh, O Lord, do not be far off. You, uh, O you, my help, come quickly to my aid. Again, Psalm 22 and 19. And then there is Psalm 38 and 22. Psalm 38 and 22. Make haste to help me, O Lord, my salvation. Psalm 38 and 22. Then there is Psalm 40 and 13. Be pleased, O Lord, to deliver me. O Lord, make haste to help me. Psalms 40 and 13. And then the scripture says in Psalm 40 and 17, you are my help and my deliverer. Do not delay, O my God. Psalms 40 and 17. Then Psalm 70 and 1, make haste, O God, to deliver me, O Lord, make haste to help me, Psalm 70 and 1. But I am poor and needy, hasten to me, O God, you are my help and my deliverer, O Lord, do not delay, that's Psalm 70 and 5. Again, it says, but I am poor and needy, help hasten to me, O God, you are my help and my deliverer, O Lord, do not delay, Psalm 70 and 5. Then there's Psalm 71 and 12. Oh God, be not far from me. Oh my God, make haste to help me. Psalm 71 and 12. Okay, then Psalm 141 and 1. Oh Lord, I call upon you. Hasten to me. Give ear to my voice when I call to you. That's Psalm 141 and 1. And then the final scripture that I gave was Psalm 31 and 15. My times are in your hand. Again, that's Psalm 31 and 15. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much. We love you. We love you so much. You guys are amazing. Yes. Hallelujah. Well, let's pray that uh, many more of you will be on Monday morning at 5 a.m. Mm -hmm. And we'll post that. 
Monday morning, 5 a.m. It's going to be amazing. You yes. ready? Ready. Yes, God. We're ready. ready. Thank yeah. God. And so we may even do that on Periscope and Facebook Live for the um, for the Monday morning. Yes. Yes. High five. <laughs> yes. Mm. All right. We love you. We love you guys. You're amazing. Get those scriptures in your spirit. Keep praying them. Keep yes. speaking them. Keep decreeing them. Keep yes. declaring them. If this is your first time, we thank you so much. You guys are amazing. We ministry thank God word. for you. Yes. yes. Ministry Absolutely. Word. Can we just give Ministry Word a hand on, on Periscope and let them know um, how much we appreciate them for joining us and that they are now a part of our Suddenly family. That's it. Yes. God bless you guys. We love you. Um, be encouraged, be blessed, receive everything that God has for you today in Jesus' name. Amen. All right. Hey, and remember to uh, be supernaturally prophetic. Amen. <laughs> Let me make sure I can show you the whole shirt. Be supernaturally prophetic. I am supernaturally prophetic. Go to supernaturallyprophetic.com to get it or see my brother's page, Prophet John Veal, powerful man of God, supernaturally prophetic. Go support him today. We love you. Love you guys so much.